doing a little free camping this weekend. We are at Osage Tavern State Wildlife Area, which is, this is Osage Tavern Access, which is a conservation, Missouri conservation site. And this is free camping right on the river. There's a boat ramp right there in the middle of the screen. Look at those Missouri Bluffs. Beautiful. Brought the e-bikes. We are hoping to do a little riding tomorrow, not this evening. It's a little drizzly and it's quite cold. I'm really hoping to spot some eagles sometime this weekend. This place, well, first of all, it's completely empty, which is pretty chilly this weekend. And like I said, drizzly. There are so many spots here. I am not going to go through all of them right this minute. We'll probably do that tomorrow when we get out on the e-bikes. I'll show you, show you the sights and we'll try to count how many there actually are. Just looking, I'm going to say probably 15 to 20. We took the first spot here. I'm going to get some dinner started, and I don't know how much videoing I'm going to do this evening. I think this is probably going to be pretty close to it. I'll show you what we're cooking up for dinner, and then we're probably going to call it good, hang out in the camper for the night. Hopefully tomorrow it's supposed to be nice and sunny and warmer. We'll see. For this dinner, I've got some, well, these are terrible. These are all busted up. I have these tortilla shells, and I have some mackerel, and I have some cheesy, cheesy rice, and I am just going to warm all that up in the pan, throw it in the tortilla shells, and we're going to have some dinner. Oh my. Wasn't expecting the skin to be on it. Well, that's just kind of nasty looking. Shh, don't tell Jesse or he won't eat it.
give you a little tour of the campground as I promised. There's a site right there that goes up and you could that's like tent only. You could like we couldn't even get our little trailer up in there. And we kind of counted them and we think we may have counted 23 sites. So these are all sites. Got sites over here in the middle and then we got sites over here. Here's the entrance right there. And then this is the middle row. There's the boat ramp down there. And then you have all these sites on left and right. We've seen pictures. This place gets packed in the summertime. Oh, wow. I rode over here to check out the Bat Cave. That's exactly how Google has it labeled, right? The Bat yes, Cave. Yes. <laughs> Holy rest of metal, Batman. <laughs> No, no, you're supposed oh. to go, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> That's funny. Wow, that is really cool looking. So, where's this path you speak of? I see no path. Is that like the path? Yeah. yeah. And then, if you turn, 
Wait, where are we? Oh no, we're camping like right over there on that side. A really pretty shot of the river. Oh yeah, you can see the, the boat ramp from here. That's like the boat ramp right there. Well, do you want to walk up there? I don't know if we're really going to be able to see anything any better by walking up close. See the cave is like, you might be able to. We can go try, I guess. Ooh, I'm up here. Missing is massive. It's echoey too. That is so cool. Uh, yeah, I can hear the water dripping there. It's coming down from right there. I don't see any bats. They must be all. Oh, shoot this guy! Oh my gosh, that scared me. <laughs> I was just saying I don't see any bats. <laughs> and then that bird come flying out. Is it a pigeon? Oh, that's what we heard. We heard a pigeon. Well, I'm kind of weirded out by this string hanging here, or this vine. This stringy vine, and there's like a wasp nest wrapped around the vine. Can you see that? Yeah. That's kind of weird. Oh, yeah, look. There's where that water's dripping down. Oh, shoot. That stupid bird. So Jesse noticed it almost looks like there's a trail over here. He's kind of hanging back because we left the bikes down on the road. Wow, this is really high up. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what's around the corner here. Oh, nothing really. Huh. Yeah, that's kind of yikes. Oh, whew. okay. Yep, yeah, that's a little too, too narrow and too high. Well, be skipping that. Back over here, I'm a little flatter. I don't want to get dizzy and fall off. That would, that would kind of ruin my weekend. You know, I have to get another picture from this angle. That is just too awesome. Nature is certainly amazing. I got these little Marie Calendar pot pie thingies. I don't know what they're actually called, but that's basically what they are. They're like a little pot pie thing. And 
I don't want to spend an hour or more cooking this in the little toaster oven, so we're going to cook them over the fire in the Dutch oven. And what I'm going to do to keep from it being messy is I got like a pack of these flimsy little aluminum foil pans from Walmart, and I'm going to just set that in the bottom and then put these in it. I'll probably grease these a little bit with some butter just to keep them from sticking because they are supposed to oven cook for like, I think it says 75 minutes or something like that. But that'll, we'll just slow cook them over the, over the fire. And this will help keep them from like sticking to the pan or just oozes, oozing out, making a big old mess in the pan. It's gonna be an easy pick it out once it cools off and throw it away cleanup.